Hello, CFA Nation, Gabe. And Nick, the Wicked Keeper is back. <laughs> the Wicked Keeper. You know what's funny? We give our we got we give ourselves those names. And when we first gave ourselves those names, they didn't even like I gave myself the name the Night Watchman simply because I was getting up at 2, 3 a.m. doing those late, late streams when we first started watching tests, right? England versus uh, uh West Indies back in the day. I say back in the day, like it was so far long ago. All right. Like but it. it seems like it. And Nick, we called him the Wicked Keeper. It was actually out of jest because when Nick comes on, wickets do not fall for whatever reason, even though that's not the position of the Wicked Keeper. And again, it happened the other day. I got on the stream. I saw five wickets or four wickets fall in 20 minutes. Nick was there for like three or four hours. I saw one in three hours. You got to be Ooh. kidding me. Oh, you got to be kidding. Bro, it's, 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 I'm telling you, I'm about to get banned from a certain places. A couple of people were just like, oh, please stop rooting for Australia. They kicking me off the ship, Nick. They kicking you me off the ship. funny? I was, uh, you know, I don't stream on Sundays, but I was watching a good part of the match yesterday before it got turned off our time. And um, I came on and there was five wickets taken. And at one point I get up, you know, to use facilities, right? And I come back, a six wicket was taken. I watch it for an hour. No more wickets are taken. You can't make this stuff up, my friend. You can't. <laughs> when it comes to test, it doesn't work in ODI or T20. When it comes to test, holy cow. We are here to talk about something that a lot of us are going to be excited to see or hear. Some of us might get a little controversial. But we're looking at this video, Robolinda 2, which really has not a lot of views for Robolinda's views as far as his videos go. They're usually millions of views this has less than twenty thousand views but this is um jack call it callus better than sasha and Tudalker, and has their averages there and this is going to be i'm assuming for huge cricket fans we have not done a callus video this will be our first one right. i'm assuming for huge cricket fans this has probably been a debate that's been out there for a while or maybe robolinda 2 just started this on his own who knows but you look at the averages callus has a better average in test than Sashin does. I looked at the numbers, okay? Sashin has 200 tests under his belt. Callus has 166. So they both have been in quite a few tests match, right? Um, Callus has uh, thir over 13,000 runs. Sashin, 15,000 runs. These guys are, are OGs. They have been there, done that. Right. But I want to know, and I want to hear it in the comment section, you guys always deliver. Who's the best? And is there any neutral fans out there who's not a fan of either squad? Who's the best, right? Who's the best? Gabe, it is blasphemous. I've already ticked off enough people for me to say someone's better than Sashin, the god of cricket, right? Right. But you haven't ticked off as many people. They forgive you much faster. Can you look at just the average alone as Bro. far as the batsman? I haven't ticked off enough people. I'm not allowed in the West Indies. <laughs> Jamaica, Jamaica got my in Jamaica at the airports. They got my picture. All right, I'm not allowed there. They're looking for me over there. Not allowed in South Africa because, of course, I was moving from South Africa, and they got smocked the other day by Sri Lanka and, and Australia, bro. I'm running out of places to go. I'm running out of places to go. Okay. True or false? <laughs> you are more likable than me. The answer is true, and let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. I'm going to throw you on the bus right now, but it's going to be a, a compliment to you. All right. When it comes to you or me and husbandly duties, my list is much longer than yours, right? Absolutely. I have to do that list every day to keep my wife around. You have your small list and your wife loves to be around you because you're more personable. You know what? Not, that's a strong argument, my friend. <laughs> uh, that and she doesn't want to raise four kids on her all. Just saying. Just saying. You know what I'm saying? It's true. You know it's what I mean? But no, nah, you know what, dude? Uh, 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 averages don't tell the story, and here's what I what what I mean by that. Okay, the greatest hitter of all time, in my opinion, in baseball, was probably uh, Tony Gwynn. However, he didn't get the recognition because he didn't win any championships, and he was played in San Diego the majority of his career. But if you watch oh, a guy who had not one but multiple seasons where he struck out. Less times than he, or he walked more times than he struck out. That's insane to me. That's insane. Another guy uh, who doesn't get credit, who's in the Hall of Fame, who's not in the Hall of Fame for a different reason. It's uh, uh, um, for gambling. But Pete Rose, one of the greatest hitters. But Pete Rose isn't considered that. That's because of politics. 
but the average doesn't always tell the story. You know what I mean? Mike Trout right now is the best player in the world. I'm a Yankees fan, and I can say that. Mike Trout has literally one playoff appearance, and it was a loss. Like, it, again, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 averages don't tell everything. So Sasha's average may be lower, but he played 200 tests, and that's 34 more tests than uh, um, your boy at 166, okay? Don't tell me 34 more tests can't bring your average down some, because, oh, it can. Okay, Michael oh, Jordan's number three was with the Wizards, right? Gabe, who have I said many times who I think is the best baseball player of all time? Let's see if you're listening. Oh, man, best pace, baseball player of all time. That's uh, – I mean, you've talked about Tony Gwynn, but I don't think you call him the best baseball player of all time. No. I, I think he's the best hitter we'll of all time. Hitter. We'll say hitter. I'm going to say hitter. Oh, man. Barry Bonds? Henry Aaron. Han- Let Hank me tell Aaron. you why. Hank Aaron. Let me yes. tell you why. This guy, power hitter, right? Yep. Right? He had the record for a long, long time until, you know, some uh, some extracurriculars helped my man Barry Bonds. This guy never had a season where he hit 50 home runs. This guy only had a few where he hit 40. But this guy has 19 more walks than strikeouts as a power hitter. His lifetime average. 305. His hits. Take away his home runs. He still hit 3,000 hits. Is that for his career? Yes. He had 90. Wow. How are you going to tell me this guy is not the greatest baseball hitter of all time? More walks than strikeouts as a power hitter. Mike Judge or Aaron Judge, eat your heart out, my friend. That is insane because I don't even think Tony Gwynn did that. More for the entire career, he has more walks than strikeouts. Well, I think Tony Gwynn for his entire career, but Tony Gwynn was not a power hitter. That that is insane to me. Wow, that's that's impressive. So, numbers don't tell it all, but I'll tell you one thing: when you've played over 150 tests, right? Numbers say a whole lot, my friend. They say right. a whole lot when you've played a hundred. Like if I played one test and I managed to get a century, my career average is 100. I'm better than Sasha. Get out of here with that nonsense. <laughs> Look at Tony Gwynn. You're gonna you're gonna die over this 790 walks okay 434 strikeouts <laughs> his entire career 19 years 400 strikeouts uh yeah he's the greatest hitter of all time that's Tell insane me. that's insane the video tape doesn't help dude there's guys that strike out 200 times a year now Aaron Judge strikes out like 200 times a year now. Video killed the radio star. It didn't kill Tony Gwynn. Holy cow. That is insane, man. All That's right, impressive. We are way off the we're He's way off. But let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and watch. Now, my one question is Kalis. Uh Jock Kalis, who did he play for? Because I don't South even Africa. know. South, South Africa. Africa. Okay, okay. South African legend, my friend. All right, well, let's jump into this video, Nick. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And in three, two, one. So there's Callis right there. And it's Newlands ground. At the crease. Home ground. On strike. Fine shots. And I'm not sure exactly what we're seeing here. Maybe just some highlights for you guys, or maybe just a Callis video. I'm not exactly sure. Going against England here. Just wide. Oh, no amazing catch that time. 50 comes up for uh, South Africa. <laughs> Jeez. And how often does that happen? Two balls ago. Could have had a wicket. Dispatch. Nonsense. <laughs> look, look at the fans doing the boundary. Michael Vaughn. Oh. Pulled away majestically. Go get my ball. Yes, Ooh. it has. Fantastic stroke from Jack Callis. That wasn't that bad a ball, but he really thumped that straight into the crowd. Well, this is how to play the pull. Only just fractionally short from uh, Chris Silverwood. On leg stump. He's got Under quick that, hands, man. Hard and high, straight into yeah. the crowd. Absolutely. Perfectly timed, beautifully played. Hit with a minimum of fuss. <laughs> minimum of fuss. I like that. 
Oh wow! Well, it's taken from outside off stump and Busted planted out the through the wicket by Callis. And still had concentration on that ball. Left armer uh, sensing that Callis may try that stroke again from outside the off stump. Oh! Not Get it out. time. Cat Caddick uh, made a great effort. They're the most difficult catches to take. Yeah, and, over the head. Uh, the tall Somerset seamer was shoulder. always odds against. He's still a run there. Well, it was a great effort from Andy Caddick. Magnificent stroke. No jogging up the pitch for Jacques Callis. As soon as he made contact with that ball, he knew it was away over the boundary rope. Last three scoring shots for South Africa. Should give a message to England. Two from Kirsten, that one from Callis. All forcing shots off the back foot. Mm. Well bowled and uh, well played really. too. Hit him with that bouncer. The likes of right. Anderson and Stewart might have been committed to the shot there. Callis uh, able to pull out. away to the boundary again from Callis. Dude, they just can't get this guy out. They can't get the partnership out. Elegance personified. Look at this umpire's signal. is all saluting. It's the 50 for Jack Callis. He had a let off early on, but since then he has played very, very well. It's his third score of 50 or more at Newland. His home ground. We had 110 and 88. Think about that. These guys, Indies these legends, they average a 50. Fantastic. This one here. Of course, That's disgusting, bro. His fifth score of 50 or more against England. He's out there for an hour, 18 minutes. That's an entire movie right there. Good shot. No. Or 180. For anyone to move. <laughs> well, it's no away, isn't it? Move. I really do think England have got to look to try and tie up an end. It'll probably mean Phil Tufnell getting through a lot of work. He's got that hole in his suit too, like you saw. Beautifully stroked away through the offside by Callis. He's a marvellous player to watch, Jack Callis. Yeah, they've got the highest averages as well. Cullen and, Jeez, and Callis, 71-69. What a glorious shot that is from Jacques Callis, just using his feet and easing the ball over the boundary for six. Tried hard to get something out, but uh, Callis has got inside it, glanced it away for four. Well, he's not going to get out on 99, that's his 100. That was his sixth test 100. He was second here at Newlands, and also second against England. Mm -hmm. Scored 300s in 1999. 110 to West Indies in Cape Town, 148 out against New Zealand and Christchurch. Jeez, 279 minutes. Wow. Seriously. Well, it's edged away. No one had slipped. Four runs for Jacques Callis. Well, the one place that like uh, four and a half hours, got man. Someone. Oh. oh. Nicely taken at first slip. Daryl Cullen and Jack Callis couldn't do much about that. There is that little uh, extra bounce <laughs> that uh, has accounted for Callis, brings Darren Goff his first wicket of the innings. Yeah, but he departed, and they only need 12 runs. Jeez. That extra bounce there wasn't a superb delivery. Now, I had said in the other video, back on his face. you know, those aren't easy Simple catches, catch but that was a pretty Lathen, easier one. End of a terrific innings from uh, Jack Callis, another century Jeez. to his record book. 246 for three now. All right, so that wasn't exactly the video I thought it was, which is fine. That's 
you know, the risk you take when you're doing a, a reaction. You don't want to watch it beforehand. I thought it was going to be a comparison of the two. But we've seen quite a few of Sashin's videos. Right. And not that we're an expert on him whatsoever, but we've seen a few. We've done some research on him. Um, what would you think about my boy Callus there, just in that one video? Um, much like Sashin, he, 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 he has all the shots, right? So Sashin – what I think made him so strong was he pl played the ball really, really late. And remember when we were watching that one Sasha video, how he kept, you know, basically hitting the ball the other way. And, and you know, when, when cut drive, right? Cut drive, right? Yeah. Covers the other way. Or is that the cover drive? I always forget. It's either cut drive or cover, cover drive. But when you hit it the opposite way, that means you wait till the ball gets on you longer so you can recognize if it's going to come at the stump. You can defend. And, I mean, in test, that's the hardest thing, isn't it? Being able to defend, like you said, being up there for four and a half hours, getting that sentry on 200 balls. And, I, I, again, that was super, super impressive uh, to see. I think that you see a lot of callous in Sashin. And you know what I'm saying? And, and vice versa, as far as them being able to play all the shots. He had nine fours there and only, what was it, two bound, um, two sixes? So similar to Sasha, he's not going for sixes, you know, the entire time. He's taking a lot of singles as well and, and, and twos and just playing the field, hitting every shot. And I think that's where a lot of um, younger players, especially nowadays, these T20 players and ODI players, do well in T20 and those limited overs, but they just don't have the patience that is required for tests. You know what I mean? Again, four and a half hours for uh, four and a half hours to get a hundred runs, you know, or 105 runs. Uh, I don't know if a guy like Perron wants to wait. You know what I mean? And that's my boy. I love Nicholas Perron, but you know, you know, Pat ain't waiting that long. It's been four and a half hours. I'm hey. still up there. <laughs> hey, I'm, you know, I'm gonna make a few calls. We're gonna get Pont there eventually, but. You talked about Sasha and all the shots. One thing I noticed in this compilation, and it's just a compilation. It's not the entire match. Not until that last ball when he got out. He looked so confident on every single shot that he took, as if he had sized up each bowler. He had saw what they were bringing, and he was very selective and very specific with the shots that he took. He had a strike rate of just below 50, so it's not like he was out there for 500 balls and he just got lucky by lasting he looked so confident. Even the commentator, he said that was really interesting. He's like, oh, you know, he's probably thinking, the bowlers probably think he's going to take the same exact shot this next one, and he took a completely different shot. To answer your other question, if you're the right-handed batter going the other way diagonally, I think that is cover drive. But this guy, I like the confidence he had. He took his shot. He said the two sixes, and they weren't cheap sixes either. He was just taking what I feel like he thought the bowlers were going to give to him at certain points, and he made the most out of it. There wasn't like there was too many that were that we saw that were too close to being caught, that one over the shoulder, but that guy really didn't have much of a chance of getting that. So it was super impressive. Back to the argument of the comparison of these two guys. Again, their average is a 50. He has a higher at 55. We saw 1999, Sasha had 68, but he had 69 that year, which is just incredible that you have an average of 69. Um, as far as ODI goes, he has 300 match matches to Sashin's 460, and his average in ODI is 44 to Sashin's 44.8. So, I mean, they're both super, super close, very similar. I want to say they played around the same time. Let's see. Collis played from 93 to 2003, Sashin 88, 2000. So, Sashin played for so long, for crying out loud. Uh, Callis did play for RCB, which is actually pretty funny. And he played for uh, the Sydney Thunder, which is kind of cool. So he's been around for a while. It seemed like Sasha had more longevity, which case in point, the extra test there. But still, you're South Africa. I'm pretty sure Callis is one of the guys you're hanging your hat on because this absolutely. guy's got to be an all about all around legend. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, dude. And. You know, everybody has, a, you know, the West Indies has uh, Brian Lara, right? Guys like that, you know what I mean? Where you're just like some some greats. And I think for us, we came in on the, the tail end uh, uh, of it. So, unfortunately, we never got to see these greats play. I mean, we we just saw MS Doni play. He's considered a great in the IPL, you know what I mean? And But a lot of these older guys that are, you know, long and gone. You know, Mike Sun 
my younger kids will never know what Derek Jeter meant to the game. I saw him play his entire career. You know what I'm saying? And Michael Jordan, you know, your kids will probably be Laker fans because you're a Laker fan, but they don't know. Uh, 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 I, I mean, Kobe Bryant, excuse me. He just passed away. Uh, your kids are Laker fans. You know what I mean? Because, but they don't know what Kobe really was. Just like, you know, uh, prior to us, you know, I don't remember Magic really. You know what I mean? That was like, you know, a little bit before my time. Towards the end, I saw a couple. Remember, Magic retired early because of his um, diagnosis of, uh, of HIV. So it's like, you, you, when you, I don't know, man. When you miss those great players, you know what I was actually thinking the entire time I'm watching this? No joke. Who averages a 50 now? We watch tests, bro, and greats are going down. Like, you know what I mean, bro? We watch a lot of tests. I mean, a lot of tests so far this year. And it's like a guy may do good in the first inning, and then he's going to go down in the second inning for a duck or four or eight. Steve Smith, you know what I mean? Just just killing me. Just some of the greats, you know, uh, Brock Coley had, what was it, 78 in his first innings? Um, that last game or 75 in his first inning, I can't remember what it was, that he had like seven uh, in the second inning. To average a 50, Nick, do you know how hard that is, bro? That's insane to me. That's insane. You know who's the first person I checked to see if they're averaging a 50? Who? Uh, who? Oh, John Campbell? Stop it. You no, know that's no, not happening. No. Kane Williamson. Okay. No, don't tell he me. He averages bro. 52 in tests. Oh, and Smudgy. Bro. Smudgy, who hates you, averages a 62. And I can't, guys, you can't make it up. What is going on with Smudge? He averages 62? <laughs> really? Yes. And I'm assuming these are, you know, mostly updated. Let's see. Coley averages a 53. And, and, and have you seen him put but up? None of these guys have gotten to their 100th test yet. I mean, that's incredible. I, but have we seen? I mean, yeah, Kane Williamson smacked my West Indies for two fifty one. But just saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, at least the games. I, maybe it's me, but the games I watch, guys are putting up those kind of scores. Come on, man. <laughs> Steve Smith rues the day that you started sharing for him, guys. Let <laughs> us know what you think. And I just want to make sure that we throw some love to the person that requested this. This was requested by. Rainier, uh, it looks like it's spelled Kronji, but maybe it's uh, Kronkia because kind of like spelled like Norkia. We'll see. Thank you so much for the request. If you want to get requests, then go ahead and do it in the comment section below. Let us know your thoughts, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, that six runs. <laughs>